People who own property at Lake Latonka and the Schoolhouse Slough will soon be paying 25% more after a recent council decision. 7 News reporter Seth Marsicano spoke with the Lakes and Land Committee and multiple people who rent property at the lake to get their thoughts. Seth? Tara, the chair of the Lakes and Land Committee, Mark Scott, said it was tough to decide whether to improve the amenities first or raise prices. And ultimately, this was the best route to go. The price increase will, will go into effect uh, in January, I believe, and, and that, that part of the plan has already been worked out. It's a graduated scale that, that um, depends on what you're paying now. What you're paying now will determine what you're, what you're paying next year. Scott says when compared to other lakes in the area, Lake Lutonka doesn't charge as much. The feedback that we received from the public is that uh, while the prices are low, the amenities are low as well. He adds, you get what you pay for, so with the increase in price, their goal is to increase the amenities. The first big thing is, is water and, and sewer, and then uh, certainly work on in, improving the roads and, and just the overall infrastructure of the area. I was able to speak with multiple people who declined to go on camera but lease property at the lake who all say the changes are happening too quickly and if the city doesn't monitor the price increases when they go into effect, it could leave behind a ghost town. They also agreed, saying they wouldn't mind paying more for better amenities, but they would like to see actual progress. Scott says people might see changes sooner rather than later with the $3 million investment the city made for improvements. Well, I'll tell you, we're already starting to talk about when to meet, and it's likely going to be in the next two weeks to, to start the first part of the plan. Uh, we want to start with a prioritized list that we really have already started working on. Um, and then, and then uh, just let's look at different improvements that will make the, you know, really get the best bang for our buck. In addition to these changes, council open requests for the management of the schoolhouse slew. Scott says the proposal will end January 15th, hopefully with someone in the position soon after, allowing people to get their permits through the SLU instead of applying only online. He adds it's nice to see action being taken and the overall end goal is to improve the quality of life for people who take the time to visit the lakes. You've got uh, quite a few folks that have you know, quite a bit of money invested in the area, uh, and, and I think that we would all like to see uh, the quality of that area improve and, er, and continue to improve and continue to be a, a great place to recreate. While residents say they would like to see the SLU's bathrooms in the improvement plan, they're going to have to wait to see what's presented to council. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Seth Marsicano.